the next ratio we are going to see is price to book value what is price to book value so company's price divided by book value of equity book value of equity so book value of equity is what is the worth of equity capital in the books of the company price is what is the price for this equity that the company is ready to pay let's say your company share is trading at 25 and the book value of equity is let's say 10 so the price to book ratio is 2.5 so the way to interpret this ratio is if the company has 10 rupees worth of assets that are attributable to equity holders alone then the market is ready to pay 2.5 times of that value so if a company has only 10 rupees worth of equity in its books the market is ready to buy it at 25 rupees which is 2.5 times of that value so why is this market paying higher because the market is expecting the profit to grow at a higher rate when profit grows the value of equity will grow because retained earnings will get added to this book value of equity and hence the market expects this value to recover soon and reach to your, the price paid so higher the growth higher will be the PE but in general nobody wants to pay a bigger premium and hence lower the price to book ratio attractive is the stock fine so let's go ahead and calculate this uh, ratio we already know price what is the book value the book value the total book value is given here which is share capital 73291 but we want book value per share so how do we calculate book value per share total book value total book value divided by number of shares would give us book value per share but where do we get number of shares outstanding we know that net profit divided by number of shares equal to EPS right so now I know EPS I know net profit so I can find number of shares so net profit divided by EPS will give me number of shares sorry num number of shares right net profit by EPS will give number of shares so net profit by EPS so let me calculate shares outstanding shares outstanding is this much which is 829.56 so I can calculate book value per share using these numbers so total value of equity is 73291 and I have shares outstanding as 829.55 so the book value per share is 88.35 and price to book value is 1.73 so if the company has one one rupee worth of equity that is attributable to equity holders then the market is ready to pay 1.73 for that equity which is worth only one rupee because the company is expecting some growth from this stock